Hello everyone, Raptor X here, and uh, I'm here with a quick tutorial on uh, machinery in Tekkit and basic functions of pipes. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, this is my uh, lab. I've uh, been working on this for a while, so yeah, this is the main floor of my lab. Uh, nice charging bench here for my tools. So yeah, let's get started. Now, basic machinery. We have four. Macerator, furnace, compressor, and extractor. I already set it up here, so avoid all the hassle. Macerator. Uh, just a machine block using an eight refined iron all around. Electronic circuit. Cobblestone flint on the top. Let's grab one of those. Now, furnace. To make the furnace, you need an iron furnace, which is eight iron ingots, not refined iron like the machine block, just iron ingots in the middle, electronic circuit on top, two red stones on the sides. Compressor, again machine block, electronic circuit on the bottom, still on the sides. Extractor, same thing, machine block, in the, always machine block, three tabs on the sides, electronic circuit in the bottom. Now, I've already set it up we have uh, electricity pumping out through the back of the machines so all we have to do is just pop them down first we're going to put the ma macerator down then electronic furnace actually I want to put the extractor first Let's put the extractor and then the compressor now basic functions macerator just pretty much takes any ores, splits them to two, so efficiently, you know, doubles the amount of ores and ingots you can get per ore you do in a cave rate. Electric furnace, just a regular furnace, just a bit quicker, runs on electricity, like you see there, a little lightning lit up. And uh, yeah, it just makes ingots out of the dust you're going to get from the furnace, I mean from the master SR. Extractor, you can uh, extract uh, sticky resin and make it into rubber. You can also do uh, rubber wood, but that will only make you one rubber. St sticker resin, meanwhile, will make you three. So that's very useful, especially in Tekkit, since you need rubber for just about any cable, and you need cables for everything. Compressor. Now, this is used to make uh, advanced alloys. Uh, we'll get to that later, but I just figure I'll put it right down in the chain of machines. All right, now what we want to do here is automate the whole process. I'm going to start this by putting down a chest. Now this is going to be the input chest where everything is going to be put into. It's going to go down the chain and it's going to come out at the end. Now I'm, going to, I'm not going to put it yet and I'll show you guys why later. Um, so yeah, let's get this started. First we'll start with a wooden transport pipe. Now that's important right here. The red uh, uh, cover it's where the input comes in through so that's what we need right there now we're gonna put a redstone engine and a lever now this will power the redstone engine will suck everything out of the chest through the wood wooden pipe now all the machines the input needs to come in from the top that is very important everything has to come in from the top and it comes out of the sides so put a cobblestone pipe through the top goes around in through the top of the macerator. Now out of the macerator we need another wooden pipe, another redstone engine, and another lever. Now to not make these two connect I'm going to alternate between cobblestone pipes and stone pipes. So that, that way it doesn't connect. If we had a cobblestone pipe it would connect and it would just cycle in through and it would just make a mess. So the best way to do this is just alternate between cobblestone pipes and stone pipes. Do the same thing as before. Through the top, goes into the electric furnace. Now, what we have here is just ingots, regular ingots, so we don't need the extractor or the compressor at this time. So what we do is just put another uh, wooden pipe, redstone engine, lever, turn that on, turn that on, so start heating up, I'm going to explain that in a second. Cobblestone, since we used stone pipe, around, 
into our chest. Now that's the input chest, output chest. That means we put ran just random ores in here. It will go through the macerator, get dust, into the furnace, and we'll get ingots. All right, now let's put this to a test. Put some uh, iron ingots in the chest. They get sucked out by the redstone engine, powered by this lever, up through a couple stone pipe. Here comes the next one. Go into the macerator, macerator, sorry, and go down the chain into this chest. And uh, yeah, it will be uh, two ingots. Right now, I put 16 iron ores. We should have 32 iron ingots at the end. Now, there is a problem with this basic setup. If you put in different kinds of ores at the same time in the chest, uh, let's just say uh, copper, tin, iron, all at the same time, if the macerator hasn't finished doing the, the macerating, as you can see, the, the top slot is occupied. If you have a uh, copper that comes in or tin or a different kind of ore, it will just pop out and not go inside the macerator. And if you're not careful, you're going to have huge overflow of ores everywhere and uh, it just wouldn't be efficient. Now in the next episode, uh, we'll be explaining how to solve that problem with uh, different kinds of pipes. But I just wanted to get the basic setup done, the, you know, the, the whole, you have to put in the input through the top, output through the sides, powering the machines, redstone engines, the, you know, the basics. And we see here the iron ore is going through. There's no more iron here. And here's what I was waiting for. It turned green. Redstone engines get power from redstone signals like a torch or a lever or a button, pressure plate, anything that produces a redstone signal. If it has a constant redstone signal like a, a lever or a torch, it will continually work. You just keep on pumping even if there's nothing coming out. Blue means it's, I guess, cold. Green is efficient. Then it can turn to orange and then, I believe, red. But it is important to know that these engines do not blow up. Like, uh, for example, steam engines or the red, uh, especially combustion engines. Combustion engines, you have to constantly cool it with water, another cooling source, or it will blow up and it will make a nasty hole in the wall if you have it inside uh, your lab or factory. Here, see, now they all turned green. And that it means they're pumping quicker and things will not be stuck there for very long. Now, the macerator obviously is very slow right now because uh, it has no upgrades. You can put overclockers and uh, other different kinds of upgrades. So I guess I'll talk later. And yeah, uh, that's the basics of redstone engines. So yeah, don't don't worry about leaving them on forever. Even if you, even if you don't have ores being processed, just leave them on. That makes uh, the pumping a lot quicker. And uh, yeah, here we have our iron ore. Still a lot to be processed in the macerator. Obviously, this is the this would be the first thing you put overclocker on. Now remember that overclocking requires extra energy, and you want to make sure you have enough energy for your machines. So that's it for now, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. I uh, will be making other videos. Uh, not sure if I want to make them daily or just uh, one day yes, one day no. The length. So I, I need you guys' suggestions to help me out and uh, see what I should do next. Bye.